Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about the finger cam length selection, how to select the finger cam length selection. Okay, this is the sec, uh, part 2 and uh, part 1 is already I have, done, uh, I have done in the previous class. Okay, so today we will check about how to select proper length of the finger cam without any calculation. Okay, so let's start the design. Okay. So this is the, I have created one simple part for concept design to understand how to select the finger cam length. Okay. So I will now I will now do the uh, core gate extraction with the help of mold tools. Okay. See here we need to create one reference geometry and plane. Select here parting line. Okay. So here should be zero sorry should be zero okay after that go to mold tools this will uh, it will uh, it will really help for uh, beginners okay those who are uh, trying to learn the uh, design okay and after this go to parting line select the plane say draft analysis if you want to uh, before this you, you have to do draft analysis for the uh, knowledge purpose i am showing directly okay say draft analysis see this is the indication of draft analysis and red color is cavity and green color is core okay here negative drop positive drop okay see these are the colors uh, indication for drop angle so we will not go this uh, diff in this directly we will go for core cavity extraction so select ok see already blue line is created here with, uh, it is for parting line purpose after that you need to go for set of surfaces this is set of surfaces used to create the side core for creating this slot okay so go to setup surface see this will select the automatically both side so we don't want select both side we need to select from inside of the component okay so we need to reselect this area so clear this area and select this inside area of the part okay this one this one this okay and this one and last this one okay so and this one you have to check the uh, until you did uh, if you're not completing this one it will not show here green uh, messages so it will uh, it will show now see the mold is separatable into core and cavity it means we can it will be great it will create there is no issue in core cavity extraction okay so just say okay after this see it is closed now from here itself uh, slider will be created okay after this tooling split and select this line this is for core cavity uh, core cavity mater uh, material you can uh, give the dimension here for core cavity insert ok I will give example 80 80 by 80 okay after that if you want to give chamfer you can give the chamfer by itself in the sketch itself so this one here yeah okay after that say okay see see here you can also mention the thickness of the core and cavity okay a 
I will take uh, cavity, cavity thickness more than the core because we need to create the cooling line here. So we need we need a thickness here for the cooling line diameter. Okay, and here is it will here it will be you can use for use bevel or diet cooling. Say okay. See here some errors are the parting surface must be larger than the boundary of the sketch. So we need to create the parting surface before the creation of core cavity inside. Okay. So delete this area and go for parting surface. See here parting surface will be created. Okay. Parting surface can be extended by here entering the values. I will put here 20 mm. Just say OK. After this, as I told you before, go to tooling split and select this parting surface area. OK. And create some sketch. So if you want to give the dimension you can give it I will give 60 by sorry 75 75 by 60 ok after this say ok and see here it will create core cavity inserts and as I told you before I will take this air cavity thickness 60 mm ok and it will be 50 to 40 also see it will create now core and cavity see so we will give the color for this core and cavity you can choose the any color of the color of it okay and this one Make sure this here, this one check mark will be you should be unchecked. Otherwise, it will create duplicate part here. It will be double. Uncheck. See, this is the part. This is the core. Okay. See, this is the part. Mm, this is the core. Okay. So now we go for creating the side core. This is the undercut. Okay. So we need to create the side core from here. So make isolate and go for make wireframe, go for core and select this area and create sketch. sketch from here ok Look. say ok and make visible see now it is created side core Now we will create the finger cam.
Okay, now it is joined here. <coughs> so you can check by the cut section in. See, now it will look like this. So it will be created for undercut. Okay, it will be look like this. See, it will uh, it will create parting line also here. It will be button here to create this slot. So now we will create this one slider block. If you want, you can give the dimension. I'll give M M for Z. Okay, and height will be. should uncheck this area this one otherwise it will merge with this one this is the simple method I'm telling and go to drop sorry go to chamfer and give the degree and I will give uh, any degree if you are if you can give uh, from 25 uh, sorry 15 to 25 degree within that you can give the any angle okay I will give here 12 degree flip direction and increase the length of the words I will give 25 it should be flat area here for the stopper purpose after this go to combine this and this should be combined ok see now ok after this put one plane here create court uh, sorry angle pin hole here okay we create here one it was the 12 degree and I will take this one 10 degree 2 degree should be difference because uh, because of um, pressure to apply the pressure okay it should be finger can pin diameter is 10 so. okay. after this next one this one and this one okay go to revolve Now finger cam hole is created and give chamfer here, chamfer or radius. And I will give 3 mm let 
okay it will be used to guide the guide pin okay cam pin after this See now we have created here campaign with slider block. After this, we have to create the see this. See this is the now important thing how to select the finger cam length properly. Okay, I will show you. Before this, check this distance. It is for I think five mm, four point nine mm. Okay, five mm. And we we'll take as take it as ten mm moment because of safety factor. See now, Let's make a sketch here. And after this, it should be 10 mm. See here just one minute. We are just created one line from this ending entry point of the finger cam. Okay, I will take this from here, make a line, and from here to here. Our slider movement is 10 mm. Okay, make this one 10. See, this is the 10, and put and make a sketch here. This one, touch this one area from here to this point. This one. Okay. Now for this, delete this area. It should be okay. Ten mm. Delete this one. and select from here to here and this will be the 
finger cam length and it will be accuracy okay if you have any doubt you can check it in existing mode which is running in production okay and now I will create campaign See this will be the finger cam length. So you can give here radius. Okay. This is the way of finding the proper length of the finger cam. Thank you for watching. If you have any doubt, you can comment on the comment box and I will suggest you. Okay. Thank you.